Birger Giesecke has worked as a professional in equestrian sports for more than 20 years. He was European champion and several times German champion in Western riding. He was also the first horsemanship instructor in Europe. Birger Giesecke has helped thousands of horses and their owners solve major and minor problems in the USA, Australia and Europe. One of his special subjects is the loading of horses. There hasn't been a horse yet that he hasn't managed to get into its horse box. With his quarter horse stallion Lena's Paul, which you can see here, Birger Giesecke impressed many people at numerous events. Calling on these years of experience, he developed his revolutionary training system, EQS, which stands for Equine Quality System. This system enables everybody to educate horses better, more systematically and more suitably for the species. We all know the situation when a horse has to be loaded into a trailer. People use carrots, pitchforks, brooms or whips, or they span two lunges and once the horse is in the trailer, it's scared and just wants to get out again. It doesn't have to be that way. My system, based on communication and motivation, makes loading very easy. This DVD will show you how it works. There are two very important issues when loading a horse. First of all, a concept like EQS, and then the right equipment. Equipment which is fair to the horse, but which also compensates for the handicaps we have compared to the horse. A horse is faster, taller, and also stronger than we are. So how can we compensate for that? very easily. Here I have a 12-foot rope that compensates for my lack of speed, which means I can show the horse I'm as fast as you, or maybe even faster. And here I have a rope halter, or so-called horseman halter, to suggest to the horse that I am as strong as it is. I'll explain the importance of the knots later. And here I have a stick that enables me to appear as tall as the horse maybe even taller. That will impress the horse. Finally, I have a horseman disc to establish your position when you work with your horse. It helps you to discover whether your horse is moving you or you are moving your horse. I'm curious as to which horse I can help today with my equipment and EQS concept to overcome its fear of the trailer. Mister, the horse which is supposed to be being loaded, is a seven-year-old warm blood mix. It's been loaded several times with great difficulty, to the point where it completely refused to go into the trailer. Similar to what you see here, it used to follow up to a certain point and then backed off. One common reason for this behavior is that most people go ahead of their horse into the trailer and then ask another person to close the trap, in other words, the trailer. Some horses have learned this way that it's not good to follow someone into the trailer. This is one of the reasons Birger Giesecke makes horses go into the trailer by themselves. Another big advantage of this method 
is that you can easily load your horse without any additional help. It's good. Okay. Ah, that's a shit. Hello. Is that? Thank you, should. Yeah. If you want to change your horse's halter, for safety reasons, please slip the new halter over the present one. That way you'll always be able to control your horse. Please note that leading your horse always means training your horse. That's why it's so important to always have your rope halter or horseman halter on your horse whenever you work with it. You can also teach it to be tethered with it. Right, now we've put on the horseman halter. I'd now like to show you how to adjust the halter correctly and how it works. The nose piece of the halter should be positioned below the cheekbone, a little higher than the point where the nostrils lead into the skull where it becomes softer. To make sure that the halter isn't positioned on the same spot every day, you can vary the position. These knots help the horse to feel in which direction it's supposed to go. When I slide the halter one way, you'll notice that this knot touches a little bit more. When I slide it in the other direction, the knot lifts a little bit. This is very important for the horse to know in which direction it should go. The last and most important knot is the one down here, the yes-no knot. This signals to the horse that everything is all right as long as it hangs loose. As soon as I pull it, the halter says to the horse, no, you have to change something. Now let's see if there's a reaction.